us about the adults conducting experiments on the International Space Station. So most of the local kids are involved as well. Several fifth graders from Mount, Mount Carbon Elementary School in Littleton are sending an experiment to the space station. Nine News reporter Maya Rodriguez tells us it's part of a national That's program to get students amazing. excited about science. Before we got the tank, don't let their age fool you. I love science. Because these budding scientists might be some of the youngest ever to send an experiment up to the International Space Station. And this has been a fun experience. Kylie Dappin, Madison Gargiulo, and Megan Simpson are all fifth graders at Mount Carbon Elementary in Littleton. The trio beat out dozens of other teams, including high school students, in a competition to get their experiments sent up to space. Their focus? To see if microgravity affects the life cycle of a ladybug. The small bugs could end up playing a role in sending humans into deep space, including Mars. They're thinking Mars might be a suitable planet to live on, so they're going to, um, they might use space gardens in there. Space gardens, under development right now, might be key to making sure humans on long space missions have enough food to survive. Ladybugs eat other insects that can damage crops, so they're considered a good alternative to chemical pesticides. Never have I been more interested about ladybugs in my whole entire life. Just how long ladybugs can survive in space is a big question, one this experiment hopes to answer. What we think is going to happen is that the ladybug life cycle will be sped up because of the microgravity. Here, pick it up with your finger. The ladybugs aren't always cooperative. <laughs> And things don't always go smoothly, but their teachers say that's all part of the learning experience. There was frustration. There were tears. It was so real life. Also going up to space, this patch, designed by fellow classmate Ben Hariati. Astronauts on the ISS will wear it on their uniform. I don't really know how I came up with it. I just think it's really cool to... Um, design a badge for an astronaut. Yeah, so there's like droplets on this side. Getting kids excited about space is something teachers push for through the National Student Space Flight Experiments Program. The next part is to watch these kids because they're the ones who's going to sparkle. Something these kids are already doing. It's a really exciting moment for us. <laughs> Now, their ladybug experiment is set to launch on Cape Canaveral in June. The students are working to raise money right now to be able to go to the launch. If you want to help, we have more information on 9news.com. Just go to our Features section and look for the Space News tab, which is on the left side. And Christine and Kim, when the experiment gets back, these kids have to travel to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. to present their findings. How so this cool is a big is deal. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is huge. And we were just talking about, I mean, it's great to see them so excited about it and excited mm -hmm. to see girls excited about science and space and things like that. We know there are a lot of women that are astronauts, but mm -hmm. we really need to push that at a young mm -hmm. age. Absolutely. And we asked these girls, do you think there are enough women studying science and math? And they said no. Wow. So they're leading the charge. And even if they recognize it at such a young age, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Maya. Well, you are our space reporter. Oh, Maya's yeah. all over the space stuff for us. I know. It. You love it. It's so fun to do it. It, it is. It? It's yeah. great. Okay. Wow. That's very cool. Thank you. Yeah. We're excited for them.